Welcome back. When we last left our adventurers, seemingly brought together by fate, maybe just a coincidence, but a very oddly specific and powerful nightmare, now all find themselves at the Fish and Flask Bar and Inn. It is relatively quiet for the moment, but more patrons are coming in. And as this group tries to figure out exactly what is going on and why they have this connection, a large group decides to settle themselves loudly over at a far table. And as they do, uh, you notice that it is a group that is pretty uh, proud walking in. Uh, they are, um, uh, there is a, uh, dwarf, a half-elf, uh, there is a barbarian, there is a young human, uh, carrying a book, flipping through it, uh, trying to, like, just doing some, like, mid-air calculations of sorts, and, uh, and a couple of others that are meeting them at a table in the corner, uh, kind of like that picnic table style. And they're very loud and immediately are calling over Eldon, and Eldon's like rushing over with a tray full of drinks. These are familiars uh, to his bar. Uh, they are incredibly loud and incredibly, um, I'd say, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, liberal with their uh, language and uh, treatment of the staff, it seems. But um, they uh, they are doing their thing as uh, Eldon comes back and rushes over. He's like, uh, uh, you, you need anything? Uh, do you want me to close up tab? Do you want to keep it going? What, what are we doing here? Yeah, I'd like another glass of whiskey. No Your problem. strongest no. ale, You please. got it, you got it. And uh, what about you, uh, miss? <laughs> I'm still I'm... good, and I take a swig out of the bottle. <laughs> um, I, I'm, um, I'm still good. I, I, je, je ne pense pas que, I don't think my vouchers can get me anymore. It's okay. Ah, no, no, you're just right. That's all right. With, with the clerics, I uh, can't give you a, keep you drinking. That, that'd be bad. <laughs> we'll make to do any job. <laughs> well, oh, oh, I mean, I... I can just heal myself of it, too. I mean, are you all, are you all, uh, you all gonna be, uh, doing the open call, uh, together? Uh, it seems like you're all, uh, familiar with each other. You're doing the, you're uh, doing the call, t uh, tomorrow. For, for the guild. I, I am, I am. Um, uh, together? Um. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, that's it's, why, it's, that's why we're here, but. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what they do. They're accepting parties of adventurers. Uh, they, I mean, I, I know the term is so thrown around lately, and it's only in the professional sense, but I just, you know what I mean, the, 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 People of special skills, and they're looking for, you know, groups like you. I mean, you seem like an eclectic bunch, and apparently all familiar with each other. I'm just curious, you know, is, is, this, uh, is this what you plan on doing? Because you look like, you look like a very uh, unique uh, uh, party, as it were. <laughs> we get all that's types here. Um, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do this. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, but yes, it, we are. We, Hold um, on. I, I, uh, Javi just, I just came here to uh, help out and uh, work. I, I wasn't really part of the festival in that uh, sense. Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, there's a rowdy bunch over there. I got to take care of them. Uh, plus, the musicians seem to be setting up for. Oh, I'm a little short staffed today. <laughs> Well, you take care of yourselves, no problem to worry about. I'll go, we'll take care of it, settle everything. And he's just kind of like gathering right. stuff up and runs over. Let, let me know if the, uh, if that loud group gets a little, uh, too rambunctious for you and you're not happy. You got it, big Sorry. stuff. <laughs> the locker just makes a loud, exasperated. Uh, I'm with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also, I'm also kind of tagging the loud group just in my way. <laughs> Oh, okay, you're getting that look in your eyes again. Is he all right? Is he... He's never... Well, no. Like I said, he's very friendly. <laughs> Sorry. Right. But... There's another across from the bar says it again. Sorry, this stuff's really... <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, do you mind cutting it down on the grog for a minute? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I probably should. <laughs> He's normal. 
I can't Who? do. What? A wa your friend. A walker. A walker. Yes, I'm normal. Yes, he's normal. And normally oh, much more friendly. Yes. Oh, that's what she was saying. Yes, much more more friendly. Sorry. Uh, oh. Interrupted by belching. Is it, it's all right. Um. Okay. Um, so, so, uh, uh, everybody, uh, hi, uh, uh, I'm Andy. Um, nice to meet all of you. Um, uh, well, we've met. Well, well, well I mean, uh, yeah, other than <laughs> Luna, obviously. Oh. No, uh, I, it, very you. looking, yeah. Maring will, like, kind of, like, go from the side of Arlen to, like, where her stool was and hop on top of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, for sure. Hey, hey, hey. Um, God, this is weird, but this also means we're going to be really awesome very soon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Maring. Um, <laughs> Bonjour. Maring, uh, you may have heard of the cotton scale at some point. No. Nope. No? <laughs> <laughs> have I um, have I have I heard of the I cotton have? scale? Uh, Mary, how how yes. how famous are the cotton scales? Uh, well, okay, so or is it she, more of just Mary believes that they're famous? <laughs> so, as far as Terratalia, it's pretty well known that Terratalia is like it's like a New Orleans. Everyone knows what New Orleans is. Not everyone's <laughs> been there. Um. In that circuit, yes, in Terratalia, yes, maybe some cities outside of Terratalia, yes, but the rest, everyone just kind of knows about the Gladiator Arena, not necessarily all the Gladiators, so. So, Mike, with my background, would I... I would say that you have, may have lost money on Myring before. <laughs> Wait, she's undefeated. Hold up. If you That's why I'm saying her. it. Ah. I'm going oh. against you. And then I, I, I kind of like clock the Harry and like, you know, now there's a second layer of deja vu going on around here. <laughs> mm, you don't you know have what heard that of me. Means. <laughs> she like does her best pose, but like, you know, she has a, she's a rabbit. So her chin is not Fuck. nearly as like Fuck. stout. So she tries to like. I like look and I go. Fuck, I lost an entire job's pay on your ass. Aha! She puts her mug to it so you could clink it. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, bet, bet on the underdog next time or the under fur out, say. <laughs> I did. It was a Goliath. Yeah, oh, Benny, Benny. Good kid, good kid. <laughs> And before, before we continue on, I kind of reach into my money pouch and I pull out a single gold piece and I go, Hey, you say your name was Arlen? And I toss her the gold piece and I go, buy yourself a drink. Can I check whether I can actually catch that? Yeah, sure. Oh, no. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Roll dexterity. I'd say at disadvantage because you have no idea that... Oh, do we need to? Oh, doesn't, even oh, doesn't even matter. Hold on. Wait, wait. Talk. Please catch it. Oh my god, please catch it. It's you realize, you it realize that was almost a natural 20, but the first roll was a 6, and the second roll is a 2, with a minus 1. Oh. Yeah, you just kind of hear the clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Despite your giant hands. <laughs> Does something? Uh, she tries to actually, like, go and retrieve it. <laughs> <laughs> Walker, what happened to your aim? Uh, it's, <laughs> normally, he's much more accurate than that. <laughs> no, Sorry. And not, I, I get up and I, and I I pick it up. I go over to pick it up. Here you go. I'm very sorry for my friend. Merci. No, no, no. It, it, it was entirely my fault. It was not his fault. May I suggest the... I don't know. Cotton Candy Vortex. I think that's probably a better name for this drink and I gesture Andy. to my my pink and and blue concoction that I'm drinking a a Andy. it's it does have a bit of a punch it. though uh, she instantly orders it Andy <laughs> and, yeah, and it's you're a trying great to get idea. the attention 
<laughs> the one other uh, 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 bartender there, she is um, uh, kind of like a, a, a very like much younger, probably teenager, just lied to make sure that she could get the work um, <laughs> as long as she doesn't drink anything at the bar. Uh, it's just like, Are you, you want to watch? So, you see, it looks uh, like this. Cotton oh, candy vortex, I am oh, pretty it's... sure, is what it should be called. Is you can tell I again. Oh, yes. Um, I yes, he was. To, I'm sorry. I don't know how to. Do, I'm just a, a poor. That's what I do. Oh. Um, and she's got like she's, she's clearly like her she, her hair's tied up. She's sweating. She's just because now like there's more of like a later evening crowd starting to come in, especially That's with off. like musicians. I, 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 well, I, here, can I have a glass then? Can I, I just have a glass? Yeah, sure. Like an she empty one. Gives it, she gives Two. you an empty glass. Two. Two. Gives two. Doesn't even wipe them down. She's so busy. Like she's just trying to like All keep right. her level head. <laughs> so I take my glass and I um, pour uh, like some into those other two glasses and hand them one to Luna and one to Arlen. Like here you go. Try it. It's very good. Oh, Nancy. Oh. Um, of course. And she she smells it and sips a little bit and. So Luna kind of goes like this, <laughs> and then like two little like crevices open on the side. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, all right. Nice. Uh, sure. If you if you drink the whole thing, that means I need you to do a Constitution saving throw. It was only a little bit. I uh, it's some strong stuff. Close it the glass. Is. Close the close the glass. So as, but as he's doing that, after Arlen takes her sip and kind of like, yeah, eh, not really. She instantly sticks her tail in it <laughs> and swishes it around and checks to see if it's dying it. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a color that kind of like mixes in, uh, in into the the end of your tail there. It's not like a permanent ink of sorts, but it's mm-hmm. it's definitely got some tinge. Uh, floating in there, you know, put something that probably will wash out by the next. I feel. Day. I was gonna say. I feel like it washes out other color instead. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you're from the Mouth. north, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, sir. What? Why? You're from. You're from the north. Mm, uh, me. We. I, <laughs> I am. But how could I you tell? The tail thing. Hmm. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> I've seen a bunch of fear bulgs up there doing that kind of a uh, cultural thing. No, it's um, I'm actually kind of the only one up there. Have you ever been to the north? I went British. Uh, a couple of times, <laughs> mainly just mm-hmm. to visit. Mm-hmm. Visit um, some relatives, bring them back to their have homes. You s- have you seen? I would say that Arlen, this is definitely a surprise to you. Karen, yeah. Uh, that someone else has made contact with someone like you, or at least mm-hmm. this is the first in a long time you've ever even heard of an inkling of this. Yep. While Awaka, it's it's possible that you've met people that absolutely are of Arlen's species, but for the most part, you know that it, it's you're still kind of like a job's a job. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I met someone who looked like it could have been. I don't know. Could have been a. Could have been a verbal. Could have been just the giant wearing a cow costume. I don't know. <laughs> where Where did you end up uh, seeing them? Where? Uh, uh, I forget the name of the city. Uh, how How passing. How long ago? Oh, uh, going on about maybe probably two years. Oh. Maybe two that and is, a half. That is recent. I just saw him passing through uh, his, uh, stopping mm-hmm. by uh, law enforcement up there, uh, dropping some packages off. Mm-hmm. Her head, you can kind of just see, like, her demeanor kind of, like, shrink down. If you can see a fur bug get, get small, she gets small. <laughs> he clocks that. Ew. Uh, there is a uh, small smattering of applause as people are starting to get uh, rowdy as a familiar uh, cobalt voice that you heard earlier. Like, Hello, everybody! Ah, yes! Ah, 
uh, we're here. We're here to give you a good time tonight. Um, uh, any any fans of our stuff at, uh, around? Woo! Woo! Mary hey! jumps on the bar again. Hey! Good to Woo! see you again. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we hope that you like these uh, tunes that we're going to play, and uh, we hope that you, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. It, it just, it's like, starts to uh, get into a little bit of um, some, uh, like, fun um, atmosphere starts building up. Uh, the um, One of the other uh, band members does a little uh, movement of their hands, and, like, dancing lights start to go around in the in the area. Uh, and they start to tune up and um, put a, a little uh, little bit of uh, music in the air as um, you guys start to hear um, some tunes starting to get uh, played um, as soon as I can find it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, uh, but it is... Um, we call this song uh, Love of an Orc. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. And she's like pointing to all of you. It's a good one. It's a good one. You're gonna like this one. Who? Yeah. Who are these? Oh, I've, the, never, the, I've never seen them before. These guys right here. This is called Truth Coffee. Mm -hmm. Truth Coffee. Oh, it's always the truth, and it hits you in the morning. What, what type of music uh, do they pl do they play? You'll see. Oh, okay. It's rather e eclectic group. Yes. Uh, the half orc is starting to begin, like, going into a ballad of sorts and pouring his heart into the the harmonics that are being played with the lyres, the lutes, and uh, and it's it's you, yeah. You see a couple of people like holding up some candles and like going with it, and it's 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 an interesting tune for it to just like come across uh, in this you know um, this kind of mellowed out at it uh, vibe now after, after getting rowdy um earlier and just about like halfway through the group in the corner starts talking a little bit louder and eventually it's like oh come on enough of this my play something good and then you can hear the barbarian just like come on play something good and that group in the corner is starting to go like whoa come on boo and they somehow get like people into you know like oh we're sick of this boo people just don't know good music anymore ben it's odd. It's oh. a sad day for everyone. Th think we should teach them a little thing or two? Always. Uh, and the, I'm the, the kobolds are like, all right, all right, I'm sorry, sorry, we'll, we'll look, look it up. And, you know, they start to play more traditional music for them. Uh, I'm going to head over uh, head over to the group in the corner that was being loud, boisterous, and incredibly disrespectful to the group. It's not I, oh, I, 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 immediately, so oh, no. I immediately swing off the table and I go in front of him and I go, maybe you should think about being a little more discreet. Yes, I agree with him. I, I don't, and I start walking. Don't know how to break this to you. <laughs> Andy, Andy, Andy! So, Andy. So, I'm, no, with no, no. I'm with I'm her, I'm with her, I'm with her. Andy, I know your mother. <laughs> Hold Marin on. just hops on over with, with Andy for sure. I call your mother. Arlen just looks at the bartender like, uh, "Should I, should I follow them?" I mean, three rules. I, so uh, the good, the good <laughs> rules. <laughs> Uh, so Andy, as you go up, you see that the Goliath warrior is just, is, he's taken his mug and he's talking to, um, a, uh, uh, a half-elf, uh, who's got, like, these two, um, scythes draped across their back. There's a halfling, um, who's got, a, like, a, a, like a woodland staff that he's just kind of leaning on. The, uh, bookish, um, young man is flipping through and he's he's kind of been doing like these fun little prestidigitation stuff uh there is an archer who's kind of flirting with some uh the the other bark uh, uh the uh older more uh, you know appropriately aged barkeep that's also there and because <laughs> i don't want it to get weird <laughs> uh and um 
another um, uh, human um, who's got like yeah. he's got the 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 feathered hair that he's clearly doing like the like oh, type of oh. pose where you know f, f, like no there's no reason for him to flip his hair but he's still doing it and he's just like I'll tell you what a good song is. I wrote myself a ballad that would that could drop the drawers of any person here. <laughs> you wrote ah. shit about shit, and you know it. I go. I go, oh, excuse. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse my sake. friend. Um. Well, if you did so, how about you try it? See how effective it is. And like, in that moment, everything kind of like slows down you just hear like a couple of like um, Gol the goliath kind of stands up you got a problem no but i would like to hear some good music tonight and i notice that you were very loud in your criticisms of the band that's up now and so if you can do one them one better Perhaps you could show us your panty dropping song. My panties are waiting, bro. <laughs> I'm just so saying. During it's bold words. Yes. During this whole thing that Andy is having with this Goliath, you see Awaka's hand slowly go under his serape towards his hip. <laughs> the um, the the halfling druid who's been kind of eyeing this, he's like, might be uh, be careful not to make a mess around these ports. I recommend the same, Shorty. Hey. Well, no need for uh, being rude now. Bye, bye, fellas, fellas. Why don't we invite our friends here over to have a little bit of a, to, you know, some shared drinking discussion? I don't see a problem amongst all. Just enjoying each other's company, right, right? Now, allow, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fennigan. That's F-A-N-N-I-G-A-N, -N and I won't say it again. <laughs> it's a, it's a, right. That was a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's, it's a good one. It's, it's all a good right. One. I mean, I've, I'll it forget. was a rhyme. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> got it. Got it. It was very witty. That big lug over there, that is Josephus. And uh, the long-haired fellow, uh, <laughs> that is. Now, what are you calling yourself now these days? And he looks at My name is... And he looks at you, Andy. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> you... As <soon> Claude. <laughs> Claude. Your name is Claude, Claude is. now. <laughs> Claude it is. You hear that, fellas? My name is Claude. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, it suits you. <laughs> A lot of things too. Uh, he uh, is clearly trying to like work over the bravado. Um, the Goliath is just eyeing you, Awaka. Not not like in a, a intimidating way. Just kind of like just keeping an eye. Um, the wizard uh, bumps into or the obviously a wizard with the, with the markings on his book uh, being one of the um, uh, the property of uh, the uh, wizarding institutions. He bumps into you, Luna, accidentally. Uh, and uh, drops the book. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is oh, all yours? Right. Is yeah, it, 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 listen, hey, is that yours? Uh, yeah, it's just my. Listen, uh, real quick. Uh, I don't want any trouble. This is like a thing that they do. Listen, we're just here for like the the, the, the call tomorrow. Are you guys here for the call tomorrow? The call. Yeah, the, 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 the guild open call, like, you know, they give the groups in. We're, we're here, we're re-upping our chapter status, like, it's a thing, like, you just gotta be part of the trials, and the, the envoys look the, over. Oh, there's bureaucracy involved. Well, I mean, it, yeah, it's self-formal at this point, but, like, oh. you guys, like, you know, just, just hang out. It was like, you get them a few drinks in, they'll be fine. There's not gonna cause any trouble, I promise. I'm getting drunk, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, they forget it all anyway in the morning. I throw There's, a little, oh, like... we won't. No, 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 don't worry about it. You guys, if you get them, like, you know, they'll be all right. All right. Are you paying? Yeah, 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 we got stuff. We got stuff. Don't worry. Stuff. We're good with the bartender. We're good with the bartender. Well, and at I that love point, him. Yeah, he's a good guy. And he comes up. All right, what do you guys need? Oh, oh, 
Oh, looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a mixer going on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, Actually, yeah. Uh, yes, we did. I think a round of cotton candy is. vortexes. And is that what we call it? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the the <laughs> the barbarian just goes. Oh, it's just the Goliath. Excuse me. The, he's uh, twelve ales. No. We'll be fine. Settle it up, all right? I right like on. this guy. I like this guy. And she hopped Oh, jeez. Sneaking up on me. The team sees you. Hey, all right. Yeah, come on, come on. And they kind of clear the tables, mate. Clear the tables. And they kind of, like, move everything. So it's just kind of like these two big, uh, like, tables now connected to each other. So that you guys can... Half of you on one side facing you. Half of you, you know, the other half facing you guys. And everybody's got, like, their, their mugs at this point. And uh, the, uh, the... Bard, who's going by Claude, convincingly, <laughs> just this. So, what brings a fine group like you together here? Well, uh, the trials, right? Uh, group. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah, yeah. looking to become a chapter of the old guild, eh? <laughs> I like it. Chapter, chapter, chapter. Sword. Sword. <laughs> Right. Sava Luna, you okay? Uh, and at that point, the uh, when you say that, you hear um, uh, the uh, one of the. Gosh, always when I need a window open, is when it's not available. <laughs> uh, the archer, um, uh, she uh, comes up to you, Arlen, uh, and speaking to you at Sylvan. Oh, you're a native from up north. Mm -hmm. Very nice to meet you. Uh, I'm uh, mostly uh, uh, from this uh, area, but uh, I've, I've gone I've gone up there a few times. Mm -hmm. It's nice. What? It's just such a long distance travel. And she has leaned up and done that awkward like lean up against the the wall type like like almost kind of quartering you move. <laughs> it's very awkward. Oh, She's trying to do a power play. <laughs> Yeah, so would she be able to clock it as flirtatious or yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do actually intelligence. Like, okay. Because this is definitely a judgment call. <laughs> I would like to roll for a vibe check. Yes, you'd like to do a vibe check right now. <laughs> Oh, there's jack yeah. shit. <laughs> this is flying right over your head. You're going to uh, get in trouble soon. <laughs> <laughs> but anyone with a passive perception, pretty much over 10, is going to totally catch this. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Erlen doesn't get out much. <laughs> she is into you, though. <laughs> and she's, you know, she's pretty tall, but she is like, oh, that's really cool. Like she's So she reaches saying, like my chest. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess, probably. But, like, I mean, she's just totally looking up you, like, doing the whole, like, oh, yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> whatever you're saying. Um, what are you guys doing in terms of, like, keeping an eye on, on them? Oh, walk you've got, up. You've got the, uh, the young, the young, the young, the young little wizard trying to, uh, just nerd out with Luna for the most part. Uh, the archer, she's flirting with, uh, a completely oblivious, uh, Arlen. Um, the uh, the Goldilocks, as we <laughs> Claude, as he's decided to uh, refer to himself, he's just you know talk spinning yarns that more than likely is total BS. Uh, the the halfling is um, talking it up with you know, you know with Maring and Finn, and just like trade and stuff. The Goliath is practically having a staring contest with Awaka. <laughs> <laughs> on, that, on, on that on that note, Owaka has not accepted his mug of ale. He's just kicked up a chair and is sitting down at the furthest point of the table where you can see all of these new people, particularly with Goliath, and he looks up and down. Does he notice any identifying Merc tattoos of any kind? Uh, make a perception check. Um, what would you be particularly looking for in this instance? Like any kind of 
knowable Merc bands that tend to have more than groups of freelancers, like basically large packs of Mercs that tend to hire freelancers from time to time if he recognizes any kind of identifying markers more than like ritualistic tattoos um he definitely has got some uh some travel about him in terms of his ink uh and it seems like he's definitely run with some crowds um just based on you know what he's got on him at the moment but nothing that i would recognize immediately Nothing, nothing that doesn't that signifies that they're with some bad crowds. But the the different kind of like tribal tattoo things, it does seem like okay, that's not something some tourists would get. Mm-hmm. And so it, it does feel a little bit. And if you guys want to see exactly where I've positioned you, you can look over on the map as I've reached you over into your little corner there kind of position everybody where they've been hanging out. But yeah, it is tense right now. Um, the bard, though, uh, the, the clearly blonde Claude the Bard is, uh, is just, uh, he's looking, so you, you liked a little bit of a musical flair yourself, eh? Yes, actually, I'm a student at, uh, Kovan Academy. Oh! A Coven girl. Mm, yes. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I uh, did a bit of studies there myself, mostly auditing classes here and there, but mm. um, I do enjoy that campus and love to visit it any time. Yes, yeah, the orchards there. are quite beautiful, very inspiring. He is like totally trying to like, but I love that you like deflect immediately any attempt at like just him trying to get one up on you. Mm. <laughs> ah, so. Mm. I, I, I'm wondering, wondering, of course, uh, care for a little bit of uh, musical competition, as it were. You know, the, the, they are allowing people to bring themselves up into the uh, to the performance corner and give a little bit of the uh, flair, if you will. Uh, I promise, if you promise, no magical influence, just pure skill. We can see what each other can do. Um, as long as you promise to play that titillating panty-dropping song that you were talking about earlier. Oh my goodness, and he is just kind of like totally going along with it. <laughs> um, and, and, uh, he said, well, what do you say, boys? What do you say? You think it? You think I should do it? None of them are really responding. He's just going, I'm going to go do it. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, and he, uh, carries himself up and just kind of like, now makes this corner area the presentation as he looks at the rest of the picture. My friends, gather yourselves around as I decide to tell you a tale to the power of song. And he pulls out the lute, the, the, the lute and just kind of like starts to do like a Spanish guitar style strumming. Um, I am going to to see how well he does right off the bat. As he walks, as he walked away from Andy to set up a stage, I lean in behind her and go, I wonder if his asshole gets jealous of his mouth for the shit that falls out. <laughs> I honestly believe that he needs prunes just to be able to talk out of that shit mouth. <laughs> well, uh, so we're on the same page. Of and course. kind of get up in a close back. And as he's like, feels like he's starting to get to it, he gets a little overzealous, and then all of a sudden, bing! <laughs> I swear, that's, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah. They all say that, don't they? Oh. And you hear a lot wow. of laughing go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, don't look now, my panties are running out the door. <laughs> <laughs> as he just... More. I guess that's what you call a diaper dropper, right? <laughs> I did not understand that. Oh, I'm sorry. Is is that what you learned to do at... Um, uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't catch the name of, of the school you have your credentials from. I oh, well, you know, I've, I've taken mm. up some some studies here and there and just uh, different places. Uh, just uh, more, of a, more of a student by experience, of course. Uh, Insight uh. check. <laughs> 
Oh, there is no question he is lying out his teeth. This guy has not gone <laughs> to school. I'll just, I'll just do it. I'll just do it for fun. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a student of the like, world. <laughs> you think like, man, that's some bad experience. Like, if that's the I, case, like, wait, geez, wait, 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 hold on. I got, got the math deal. wrong. I got the math wrong. It's a five. <laughs> so <laughs> it's still the same. Still the same yeah. result. <laughs> um, he goes. Well, uh, the, the, I mean, I don't want to, uh, to brag too much. You know, sometimes the strings get a little cold and, you know, they, mm. it's, uh, the salt yes, air course. from the sea, you know, yes, do, yes. Do, do, do tune things. But uh, by, by all means, if you want to try and give it a give it a shot yourself, uh, the, folks, folks, would you like to... Care? There is, like, barely anyone paying attention to this. It's just mostly, <laughs> like, uh, just, go, just... From the sounds of it, you got thing. a better chance of beating me than you do her. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> and, and the the half league is just like, oh, he's got your number there, <laughs> and he he's like tries to elbow the uh, at the um, uh, uh, the whomever is next to him. I forget at this point, but he's just like, and like no does, one's selling it. <laughs> does Arlen at all uh, notice when his guitar break or when when his instrument breaks? Oh, it's very obvious. It's just like a very big ping, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> almost cartoon like <laughs> okay and so she excuses herself from her current conversation <laughs> and um just pulled up attendez um and just goes over to him and um it's good can can i see that uh, for a minute and just asks for his instrument and he looks over at the the half elf she kind of gives an odd like by all means. <laughs> she casts mending. And then it. Well, look at that. Good as new! <laughs> oh, but you joy. know, I would want to spoil it, of course. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no. Thank you very much. Of course. That he... uh, the floor is yours, my lady. <laughs> um, of course. And I give him just a, a cheeky little curtsy. Um. And uh, I stand up and I will take out my, uh, unhook my lyre from its uh, um, attachments and I take it out and I'm going to play uh, Reunion of Darkness. Um, mm. Yeah. And uh, I'll roll for it. <laughs> yes, please. Bro, perception check. Uh, excuse me. Uh, performance. performance check. Yes. All right. Um, that one. The one that also starts with a P. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, I physically cannot roll worse than him, so... That's true. Oh, that's great, too, because I didn't roll super well. Um, I rolled a nine. Plus... No, it's a nine. Well, I rolled a, a five plus four, so oh, a nine. Okay. Um, oh, okay. In, in, in a little bit of hubris coming into play, your instrument doesn't break, and it's certainly not completely flat, but it's better. And it's But it's not a tension gathering. It's kind of just like you know how to play <laughs> to just show versus what this this guy tried to do and breaking a string right off of the bat. Uh, and um, uh, Claude is like, well, you know, that's just, that's just cool. so it's just a common courtesy, of course. And the um, the half elf in the back with who's standing next to Luna is just like he leans over to you, Luna. I have no idea what the hell these people are thinking and why we're even bothering with this. Hey, can we go? Can we just go? Like, we've got a lot of work that we need to do tomorrow. And Claude is, uh, I love that we've decided. (laughs) He decided just on Claude that you gave him. Ah, yes, yes, of course, of course. We don't want to uh, show up our potential uh, uh, opponents uh, for possible uh, tomorrow. Of course, uh, you know, um, we could have a little bit of a group tete a tete just for some practice, see what each other is capable of, you know, there is a You speak something Uh, and, and he he says oh, Why of course <laughs> the language of a uh, fine empress Right? Yes <laughs> Yes, yes oh, Yes <laughs> Your friend Floyd is some work I <sighs> Yeah, no, she does it. She casts Zone of Truth. (laughs) (laughs) And as he begins to speak, 
But of course, I am just simply uh, talking uh, loudly and boisterously to make sure that I have come across as confident when, in fact, I truly am a skillless mess. Bravo. Brother. Oh. Bravo. Brother, brother, you didn't need to say Gorgeous. that. Loud. We, we, all we already knew. knew, I think. I think we knew. <laughs> yes, of course you knew, because I am not putting up an austere that is quite uh, truthful. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> and the the, the best um, sounded all night. The young wizard just kind of like, hey, not not cool. It just what, what what what's what's this? We're just trying to have a nice time. There's no reason for causing it, trouble. Yeah, but I mean, this is probably the first time that he's ever actually said it, even though we all knew it. So, what's mm, the are we really causing with trouble? The truth. The halfling is like, hey, he's got you there, and he is like getting like <laughs> wasted at this point. It's like he's got you there. <laughs> <laughs> So, so oh, God, I can see that he's okay. I'm fine, dear. Thank you very much. Oh, you're tall. <laughs> Claude. Uh, yes. Who is, is what the name that I'm being referred to as? Yes. Two questions. First, uh, what's your real name? <laughs> <laughs> My real name hmm, is. Of course, uh, 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 Francis. Francis. Oh, that's a beautiful name. I think oh, I, had a, I think and I had a great auntie named Francis, actually. Mm, yes, I'm sure she's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and also my second question. Um, you um, heard the halfling. Uh, Your bloody name is Francis. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know. Oh, I've spoiled the surprise. I'm so sorry. Um. Oops. Question uh, of of the two of us, um, who is the more accomplished musician? Oh, you don't have to do them like that. The two of oh, I do. Now we might be hitting a little bit on the. Uh, and, uh, I, I got to give you that. Oh, uh, Andy <laughs> is certainly you. Oh, it's you. Of course, it's you. It's you. Oh, I'm a fool. Oh, thank you. You're too <laughs> kind. I don't even know how to bloody play this thing. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> you do. I mean, you do Their fake hands. it fairly well. Yes, I faked a lot of things. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you definitely had to do them like that. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Claude. No, oh, where did I'm... you go to school? I didn't. <sighs> <laughs> I guessed. Okay. And uh, that at that point, um, the half-elf with her bow, she puts it back. She's like, all right. Let's, um, let's go. We had, our, we had our fun. And the uh, Goliath is like, yeah, it's time to uh, wrap it up. We'll see you. Uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow in passing, if you uh, if you make it. Yeah, I guess so. Yes. It was so? nice talking to you. Bye, big guy. Very nice meeting you, Francis. <laughs> Francis, your you bloody might... name is Francis. <laughs> He's walking out the door. It's like I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point the last one to um exit out of the um the bar is uh the young wizard who's just looking at luna i uh, just I, oh by the way i really wanted to say like um i uh, you know the order i've been studying the order a lot if you ever like get a chance to come by uh the guild I've just, I've, I've got so many questions. I've been talking, like, I've been looking, I've got, I've got, um, got some extra copies of, like, the Draconomicon, and, you know, if the, it just, like, if, like, it's, it's just been something I've been really, like, trying to get into for my personal studies. But, yeah, like, 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 let's, 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 just, let's find each other tomorrow, okay? And, and your name, one more time. Uh, Jacob. Jacob. J Jacob. Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna write it in my mind. They they forget my name all the time, but I'm I'm Jacob. Wizard nice Jacob. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, thank, all right. You. Yeah, but, uh, thank you so much. Hey, uh, good luck to you guys. Uh, what if you know whatever you guys are doing tomorrow? It's great. It's gonna be awesome. Um, and uh, they all give like Elden like a goodbye at the end. Um, 
And at that point, the Elden has just kind of, he's wrapped up uh, your tabs, and he tells you, feel free to hang out. My friends, uh, you know, it's nice and quiet around here, and the city can just be a little bit of a bit of a drag at night. But, um, yeah, enjoy um, my, enjoy, enjoy this place for, for what it is right now. I, uh, I was told that, uh, I could find perhaps your, uh, stables to, oh. uh, sleep in. Yeah, yeah, don't, listen, I've got something, uh, comfortable. We've, we've, we've I've set up a particular, uh, area and we've got an extra storage room and I've put in a bigger, uh, put, uh, two of the cots, like, to, big, next to each other so they're much more expansive. Um, you know, we get, we get some clientele that is of a particular size. I don't, I don't mean, I wonder shame or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's just, you mm -hmm. know, you're, you're very tall. <laughs> um, so, uh, it, it should be comfortable for you. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and, um, he, he, that's right, that's it for your voucher, and he hands you the key to the, uh, the specialized room at the back. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of the night. We're going to be closing about, like, maybe a couple hours, so feel free to and just enjoy your time here. Thank you. And he Merci. quietly makes, starts to clean up the tables, and it's like, just lets you have, uh, this corner area to yourself now. As the last of the, the other brigand team, I guess, leaves Awaka's shoulders relaxed just a tiny bit. Cracks his neck, and he looks at Andy and he goes, Well, I haven't been punched in the face yet, so I guess this time it's a success. I told you it doesn't always fail. One out of four. It's not bad. It's not bad odds. I also have zero faith we've seen them for the last time tonight, but that's a whole other story. Did you just say no faith? All around. You just said no f Oh, this is troubling. Oh no, I have faith, just not in them. I, I, I kind of agree. It's, they um, look kind of weak anyway. Oh, I definitely feel like we'll probably have to like fight them or something. Well, it just kind of so feels cool. right. Looks like it's on a predetermined I mean, course that we're going to have to face I, them. In. I mean, <laughs> they also did say they weren't positive we'd even make it tomorrow. So let's uh, let, let's see it as yeah, it is. It's uh, yeah, wait. I caught, I caught that too. Wait, wait. And Maring just kind of looks up at all of you from her big ale that is bigger than her face. <laughs> you guys are saying we. It, uh, um, we're, we're doing this, right? We're doing it's this. It's not, it's just... We're it, doing this. Of, it, no, it's figure of... We're doing the... Uh, just say I it mean, with me. We're speech. doing this! We're doing this! We're doing this! this. I, yeah. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> and she, like, high-fives you, Luna. Or if you, <laughs> if you high-five it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes! It's noticing that Luna's starting to get hit by the cotton candy swirl a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's like because of the the Ganassi like metabolism is like just starting to get there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, I one knows how to party. <laughs> wow, you are so rambunctious. You were always a rambunctious cotton child. Candy, do you remember that? I do. I, I do every day. You did. I was rather slow. I, yes. To be honest, I still am rather yes, slow. You could probably still outrun me. It's all huh. right. Uh, I, I swim better. But... Yes. Yeah. Well, remember, remember when we would go to the uh, to the lake right outside of Prostock? Yeah. 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 And they had the yes, the, the and with the swing. And you would yeah. always want to, you'd always want to like dive off of it and and do like like all these crazy flips and stuff and you were always so well, much better at it. Go over, go over, go over. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. Sober up. I cannot help him right now. He is um So yeah. Luna Luna kinda takes like what like the, the there's a pitcher of water behind the bar and Luna just kinda like takes the water and like guzzles it into their mouth and like just like cleanses the alcohol out of their body and kind of like shakes like a dog and it, like just like shakes it off and it goes to the ground Erlen <laughs> starts to find a mop well, oh geez. no 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 that's fine <laughs> I just I cast um 
shape water and I use shape water to pick the water up off the floor and put it back in the uh, bucket that it came from. Teamwork. Teamwork. I've got it. Yes. Mm, see this, uh, oh, of course. This is why we are doing it. Face up? Doing this. Yes. We're doing this. I I mean it's it's foretold in the grand uh, Finn help me out here. Help me out here the foretelling of things and like, you know, what's what's destined. Yeah, that that I think right? it's just destiny. But uh <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, got, you, you got there on your own. <laughs> you got there on your own. You didn't need me. See? Finn, 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 in the Finn, dictionary, the definition of redundant, it says see redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So um, as the uh, as the night continues on, and you guys start to uh, share a little bit more with each other about what happened in that crazy shared dream, um, eventually the um, the the bar tab is settled. Uh, I'll we'll, I'll settle that outside of the game, um, and uh, you are uh, exiting out of the uh, tavern before. Before we exit, um, Owaka leans over to Andy and goes, hold on a sec. And I go up to Eldon. I'm guessing he's behind the bar. Mm-hmm. Hey, brother. Uh, just real yeah, quick, if you don't mind. And I slap down a gold piece on the, ta- on the bar, and I go, that is uh, for a couple of things. For the gouge in your bar for my knife. Sorry. I mend it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks fine to me. And um, <laughs> I've been through here a couple of times, but I've been hearing more word about a gunsmith in the area. I was looking to see if you knew where he was. He, she, they. <laughs> well, um, you do all right tomorrow in the trials, and uh, you might meet them yourselves. Mm. Okay, one more thing. You haven't happened to heard of a um, orcish fellow by the name of Forger go through here, have you? Forger, Forger. Big bloke. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if he's a full-blown orc or a half-orc. Hmm. Well, we've had some big orcs coming in lately. Uh, mostly just, um, you know... Soldiers, mercenaries of sorts. Not, not so much like the rough and tumble type, but um, definitely people looking for work. Uh, saw a group come in maybe yesterday. Uh, around the. Uh, looked like they were looking for some dark work, it seems. Uh, mm-hmm. Might want to try to check by, uh, check by the uh, dark worker tomorrow. They happen to have any tattoos on them? Mm. Uh, kind of covered up for the most part from what I saw. Mm. And I put down the the gold and I slide it forward. I'm like, thank you for your time. I, and I readjust I the um, the mariachi hat that I had <laughs> slung to my back, yeah. like onto the top of my head. A real and you all see like a really busted like road worn mariachi hat that looks like it's been cut, shot, burned, roughed up in the dirt. Like half of the red tassels are gone or fallen off. And I just walk up to Andy. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, actually, I have a question for Eldon. Eldon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, question. So about your sign, I've wanted to ask this question all night. So it does say no melee spells. So are range spells all right? Get out of here, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to make sure that, you know, letter of the I, law and whatnot. Luckily, I've never had to answer that because I haven't found out yet. So... <laughs> Maybe if I do, I'll put up another rule. <laughs> mm. Oh, rules is a lot. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Eldon. I'm just saying, I'm protected from certain guild practices. Oh, you know, it's more of a. I mean, it's a bit of a joke sign. It's not like it's a. I'm not not actually having magic fights in here. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. uh, oh, oh. That'd be oh. something marketable. I'll write that down. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> you know, Elgin, if you ever need, like, you know, uh, like a, a hype 
person or I'm like someone for this. like really great ideas. It seems like I've given you like two tonight. So, yeah, you know, yeah, if everything well, works out with know, guilt. Everything and... ends at the bar in terms of like confidentiality agreements of sorts. So, well, I appreciate, but I do have to be stock closing up. But keep yourselves right. uh, safe. Keep yourselves you know, together. It's always best, especially at these times of nights, to stay in a close, uh, you know, close knit unit, as it were. Um, uh, I would suggest uh, just. Um, Avoiding the, uh, just uh, stay stay out of the foggy areas. When that fog comes in, it just lose all sense of direction. Well, thank you, Alden. You really you are brilliant. Have... Oh, pff, you're a peach. Um, and remember, um, if anyone has a suggestion of where people want to eat, uh, you know where to send them, right? Of course. Absolutely. Eat and drink, of course. With, uh, with your new yeah. cocktail list. Uh, Work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Alden. And I just like, like bubbly walk out. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, as you're kindly escorted from uh, the tavern, um, you immediately realize that it is foggy as hell outside tonight. <laughs> uh, so, I would like everyone to roll a survival check to kind of see if they can get their bearings of where they uh, where they are. Oh, Natural twenty. Oh, a twelve. First, first net twenty of the night. Since this is group, it will be, you know, levied on success. Well, Seventeen. Okay. Well, uh, that nat twenty certainly helped. Um, Seventeen as well. I don't know. If you're very thinking. nice. Very good. Uh, so yeah, all our fifteen and above people. Um, you guys do, you know, landmarks. You're looking for the higher ones to kind of reroute yourself into a better clearing where you guys can all find some places to stay or Luna in your case can head back to uh, the uh, the monastery um, although Marlin um, you do hear some whisperings as you're passing by this one kind of alley uh, and I would like you to First off, roll perception. Mm -hmm. A real roll. Wow. <laughs> 20. 30, 20. Uh, you hear, you overhear um, these two voices. It's like, I'm going to get that bod. That one, that, like that long haired freak. Trying to steal. Only trying to steal a bird. That's what we're going to do. What are you doing with that knife? Stab him right in his throat, I don't care. We don't need to, it's, it's not gonna be a problem. Take it for all it's worth. Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah, no, I walk in that alley. <laughs> 